In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve two things. One, I'm going to show you how to allow customers to add notes to their order, whether it's a single product or a variable product. And second, I'm going to show you how to display notes to customers in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our WordPress store and currently I'm viewing a single product and here we've got this extra field here so customers can leave a note. So if you can imagine if this is a made to order shop or maybe it's a restaurant, then maybe you want customers to say, we don't want no tomatoes with this particular meal or if it's a custom made um, product, then maybe you want them to add um, certain special notes, right? So we can do this by just adding a few lines of code. So just to give you a quick example, we can add our notes here and then we can go ahead and add it to cart. Okay, on the cart page and on the checkout page and even the order page, there'll be that custom note that the customer's added. So if I view this um, cart page, here we can see the custom note that we've added, right? Um, it's the same for the variable product as well. So I'm gonna show you how you can um, do this. And then later on, I'll show you how to display um, notes to customers, okay? But first we'll tackle allowing customers to add uh, custom notes per product. And this entire video is based on this article in which we created. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description below. And then here you can go ahead and copy the code, which I'll be referencing throughout this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code here. And then I'll walk you through um, a few things that you might want to change. Okay, so we'll just copy this entire code all the way to down here. Um, let's copy this. So now that we've copied the code that we need to show that um, custom box, um, we're going to go ahead and add this code to our WordPress site, right? So we'll navigate over to our dashboard. Okay, so we'll just hit dashboard here. Okay, so whenever you're editing any line of code, I personally recommend creating a backup, especially if you're not from a technical background. So just create a backup of your WordPress site. Okay, and we've got a few methods in how we can actually add this code. Okay, so one, we can add it to a child theme. Okay, so based on the theme that you're using, you might wanna um, add it to your child theme. If you haven't got a child theme, you could create one, but again, if you're not technical savvy, I'll probably just recommend um, installing a code snippet plugin. But you just go plugins, add new, and then we can just search for code. There's quite a few of them out there um, that all pretty much do the same thing. So you can just go ahead and choose one. So you can choose code snippets. Okay, so I'll just quickly um, enable this one. Okay, and then you can navigate to snippets, just click add new, and then you can just paste in um, the code here. Okay, and we can give it a name, and then we'll be able to specify where we want this code to run. Okay, and then you just click save changes and activate, and that's pretty much it. But I've actually added this code to my themes function.php file. So I'll just quickly show you where I've added that now. Okay, so I'm going to navigate to appearance and then theme file editor. When I click on functions.php, when we scroll down, we can see I've already um, pasted in a code here. Hence why you're able to see that extra field on the product page. Okay, so this is a line of code. So as I said, we can add it in both places. So I'm going to delete it from this theme functions.php file. We'll just use it within um, this snippet plugin. Okay, so we'll have a look at a few things that you might want to change. Okay, so the first thing you might want to change is let's say a customer is trying to add a product to cart without filling in the notes section. Then we can display an error message here. And the error message that will be shown is that the particular product cannot be added to cart until you add in some text. Okay, so we can change this message here. So we can say, so the product name, which will be here, that's dynamically added, um, cannot be added to cart until you enter your requirements, for example, okay? Okay, so there's a few other things that we want to customize, but before we do that, I'm going to save changes and then I'm going to show you how it looks by default. And then I'll show you how you can find the particular code that you need to change. So I'm just going to name this um, order notes, well, customer order notes to be more specific. Okay, I'm going to specify this to run everywhere and then I'm just going to save and activate. Okay, so that's saved to find. So now when we view um, a particular product, let's view a, um, a variable product at this time. Okay, so when we view this variable product here, here we can choose our variation and then we can add in our custom message. So again, if we try to add this particular product without adding a custom message, 
here we've got that text which we've just customized right so it says the particular product cannot be added to cart until you enter your requirement so we change this text earlier okay so the next text will change is here it says enter your custom text okay okay so in your situation you want to rename it so it actually makes sense for your customers right so i'm just going to copy this text here okay and then just a quick hack to find where the particular code is we can do a control f and then we'll paste this in to find where that code where that text is actually mentioned within the code and we can see it's mentioned here so we can say we can change this text to say enter requirements for example instead of custom text or if it's restaurant based you can say enter in any allergies or however you want to name it okay so we'll go ahead and save changes again okay and when we refresh this page this heading should be different now right okay so here it says enter your requirements and we can go ahead and choose our selection and enter in our requirements okay and then we can add it to cart okay and now when we view our basket we can see this particular product here and we can see um, the comments as well so again if you want to change this text where it says your extra field text so we can copy this and then we can do a control find okay so it's control and f for windows users okay so here we can see it's mentioned um, in two different places right so so here we can see it's mentioned in a cart page right this is a message that they see and also in the email confirmation here this is the text that they see so we'll need to edit this in two different places okay so we can change this to say your requirements for example right okay so i'll just copy this text here and then i'll go ahead and paste it here okay okay so we'll just save changes once more and now when we refresh this cart page this heading should be um changed okay right and that looks fine so again as I've shown in the intro, it's the same on the checkout page and on the thank you page and in the order details as well. It's exactly the same in the back end. So I went ahead and created an order um, beforehand. So if I navigate to WeCommerce orders, just to show you what it looks like in the back end. So I created this order here. Okay, and here you can see the notes for this particular product. Okay, so it just says go with two G with two O's. <laughs> okay. So that's an easy way for us to allow um, customers to add a custom notes um, per product. So if you didn't want to mess with any code, there's lots of extra um, add-ons plugins for you to choose from. Okay, so okay, so on the WeSuite blog, if you just search um, add-ons, for example, um, we've listed a few um, that we've actually tried and found to be good. Okay, so you can just click on um, product add-ons and there's a few free and a few paid to do what we've just done you most likely have to pay for it um, but yeah you could just use one of these plugins and you'll achieve the same result or you can use code okay so now we'll move on to the next section of the video and i'm going to show you how to display um, notes um, on the product page okay so first i'm going to actually deactivate the code that we've just um, added so let's navigate back over here to snippets Okay, and now I'm going to save and deactivate um, this code. So to display notes to customers, we can do it in a few different ways, but I'm going to use the default WooCommerce built-in system, right? So I'm going to navigate to products or products. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and select this product here, for example. Okay, and now we'll add a custom purchase note to customers after they've placed an order. So um, when we click on edit this product, we'll navigate to advanced. And then here where it says purchase notes, we can add a note here. Okay, so we can say this product is finished in black and will be ready in a few days, for example. Okay, in glossy black. Now we can just click update. Okay, so let's view product. I should mention that not all theme support the purchase note on a thank you page. So in it was a similar situation in this case. So I had to add some custom code. So again, it will be in an article, which I'll link to in the description below. Okay, so let's just add this to cart and then we'll be able to see our purchase note. So let's view cart. Let's go ahead and purchase. 
Perfect. And here you can see our purchase null trait for this particular product. Okay. So here it says this product is finishing glossy black and it will be ready in a few days. Okay. Ideally we'd want it displaying um, underneath here. But I'll speak to the div team and I'll have them tweak the code. So it displays under here. Okay. But I'll leave the code in this particular article, which I'll link to in the description. So you'll have both codes. So you'll have this code, which allows customers to add a note to their purchase. And I'll also add the latest code, which I've um, added. So customers can actually see our purchase note on the thank you page. Okay. And just to give you a quick idea and um, what that looks like. So I literally just created a new snippet. Um, again, we can add our title. It's just for internal pur purposes. And I've just added this code here. So we're actually able to see um, the particular note. Okay. But as I said, I'll have the div team to tweak it. So it displays um, underneath the product instead of above the confirmation page. And that's how you add a purchase order note in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.